All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first solo cast of the day. Adam is away at his grandmother's. Uh, he does this every year before Christmas, uh, prepping her for the winter time because I do believe she lives by herself. So uh, I am here to fill in, and Adam will be back in four days. So you're going to get a few days of just my casting, and then we'll be back to dueling it up all for next week. So, uh, before we get into this, I do want to give a big thank you to my sponsors, OzoneGaming.com. If you guys are interested in picking up any Ozone products, whether it's a mouse, keyboard, uh, mouse pads, headset, whatever the case may be, go check them out. Link is in the description. Also, ChairsForGaming.com. If you want to pick up a DX Racer chair and you live in Canada or the US, you can use the promo code MAXIMUSBLACK for an extra $20 off free shipping and also no uh, border fees. And last but not least, G2A.com. If you want to purchase a new Call of Duty, the World of Warcraft expansion, uh, you want to pre-order Far Cry, whatever the case may be, old games, new, check out G2A. Link is in the description below. And don't forget to use the promo code BOUSE for an extra 3% off. And every time you purchase a game, it helps me out and you're going to save a ton of cash. All right. Let's jump into this now that the shameless plugs are done. We have starting down here in the bottom right position, Zeppi. And starting over here in the mid left, we have Chris Chu. So this is going to be a PVZ. Also, I saw my name in this. Would you, Mr. Maximus Black, would you kindly hit me up with the honey anus? All right, I can do that for you. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, honey anus, ione, 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 hamne ano, inuyene, ione, 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 Let's auto tune it. Oh, oh honey anus. Wow, that sounded terrible with auto-tune. Oh my god. Let's turn that shit off. Okay, so... <laughs> we've got a Forge Fast Expand from, uh, from Chris Chu here. He said, man, I am... Rusty, you and I both brother. Um, apparently people are making fun of the fact that I screwed up somebody's name. I'm going with Chris and Zeppi. All right, that's going to happen. So deal with it. Uh, Zeppi is opening up just standardly. He's going to go ahead and drop down that natural expansion. He's got his metabolic boost going. Still getting gas though at the same time. So he's not going to pull that once, the, once he had 100 gas. So it looks like he is going to go for a gas intensive build of some sorts probably gonna rush right into uh, into some roaches queen puking all over that hatch to get that extra larva and we just have one assimilator here with two probes on there it's gonna wall off here it's gonna add a pylon over this way most likely nope it's gonna leave this wide open I don't think a stalker is gonna cut it unless a stalker Eats a whole, and I mean a whole, lot of Zerglings. I don't think he's going to block that off anytime soon. Oh, I introduced the players wrong? Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Starting down here in the bottom position, we have Chris. And over here, we have Zeppi. Sorry if I got that mixed up at the start. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, so Lings are now out here for, uh, for Zeppi. Not a whole lot happening here. Actually, the guy who sent in this replay said I should probably do two times faster until we get to the 10-minute mark because this is Silver League, and he says absolutely nothing happens for the first little while. So I'm going to take his word for it and go two times until we hit around 10 minutes into this bad boy. So that Ling, or uh, Ling's picking off that probe. Sour about no uh, scouting information. Mothership Core now out. Stock Road as well. That Zealot most certainly not going to block that off in case there is a Ling run by. And the Probe trying to go out there again. I think he's probably going to try and do a proxy pot. No, he's going to grab a third. He's going to grab a third. 
No, actually, this probe is just going to run in the middle of bumfuck Nowheresville in the corner of where the fuck are you going and holy sweet tits alley lane just to grab some minerals. Wow, those must be some good ass minerals. The only time I travel that far is to like go to New York just to get Five Guys Burgers and Fries. I mean, I love me some Five Guys Burgers and Fries and I would travel that far to get my hands on some Five Guys Burgers and Fries. This probe is given zero fucks about all of these mineral crystals. He wants, he wants this one right here in particular. Okay, now he's gonna put down a pylon over here. All right, little confused. Not gonna lie to you right now. Is he gonna like try and hide some Templar, uh, uh, a dark shrine or something over here? He's gonna put down like, let me see the production tab. I don't even have a production tab up. I am slacking hard. It's just my mind is fucked right now from this probe. I have no idea what he's planning on doing. Meanwhile, over here at the natural, we just have lings and roaches. Uh, some fast roaches, just kind of like what I thought he was going to do, although at 10 minutes now, that's not very fast. But once again, this is Silver League. I'm going to put it back to faster times now that we're at the 10 minute mark. Observer now getting all this information. We do have a warp prism. Going to be coming around downtown here for Chris Chu. And we're going to see if he can bite off more than he can chew here. <laughs> Really? What? He's just sitting there. Is he is he mocking his opponent right now? Is he going, is this all you have? Never mind. Oh, he was going to BM him. He was going to say, like, really, dude? You're not on three bases? You have zero, level zero, zero, Ling and Roaches? I mean, at my level, at 11 minutes, you can actually see a, like, 200, 200 Roach army, and it is a very, very scary thing. But, uh, but Zeppi here, sitting at 100 supply, is now supply blocked. The Warp Prism. I'm gonna go back over to the Natural. He has no idea what he wants to do here. Nice little sizable army going down. Plus one's both to finish up. He's got one Immortal. Got lots of uh, energy for those sentries. He's got a full Mothership Core. Like, full of energy, that is. So he can get two Overcharges off. He's Supply Block to Tits. Getting a, uh, a Diamond-shaped Pylon thingy going on there. Still sitting in the middle of bumfuck Nowheresville is the entire armor, army of Zeppi. I have no idea why he's sitting there, because if Protoss decided to attack right now, he would be in a whole world of trouble. But luckily for him, really nothing is happening. The guy lied to me when he sent in this replay, said nothing happens for the first 10 minutes. Nothing's been happening for the first 13 minutes. But it's okay, we still love him. Going for uh, plus one armor now. Fully saturated on both. Uh, Nexus here. Still. Is he attacking the wrong base right now? What in the all? Okay. Alright, no. Is he really gonna go down here after this? Oh, no! No, he's not gonna see it! He doesn't see the twilight! He was just about to catch it, too. And now he's chasing around this warp prism. All right, here comes the Lings. We're finally gonna have some action here. There's the Guardian Shield against Lings, pretty much useless, but the Lings here are all going to get melted very quickly, and this is a very, very scary army. I feel like this is gonna be a one-push GG, no re scenario. Now walking out into the Roach Field, but there is enough. Oh, shit, look at that. Hallucinating Immortals like a fucking boss. And the Roaches are attacking the fake Immortals while the real ones are in behind, dealing massive damage. The two fake ones are now down. Will he even get one real Immortal? I don't think he is. And that whole army gets decimated. What a beautiful play from Chris. And now Chris just needs to crisscross his way over to Zeppi's base. He said, sup, son. What's up? That's what's up. Those Mutas is what's up. No Guardian Shield energy left to fight off these Mutas. He might lose everything here. He needs to take these Immortals and Zealots and get to that natural as soon as possible and deal some damage before the Mutas clean it all up. And that is exactly what he's going to do. Still going to have some Mutas left, but meanwhile, the Zealot and Immortal train is chucking along. He also has this Warp Prism here, so he could definitely do some reinforcements. There's no way that these Mutas are going to do any damage in the base because he does have the Mothership Core that is totally in the wrong position right now. Should definitely be sitting in between these two bases to get off that overcharge when need be. Now coming up to the Natural, we've got the charge on the charge lots here. 
And the hatchery is gonna go down. He just needs to focus fire it with every, well, not really with everything. I'm just kind of overcasting at this point. He's dead. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much all she wrote. Beautiful counterattack here from Chris. The Mutas aren't gonna clean everything up, but this is all he's got left. Just a handful. Oh, shit. And out of the middle of nowhere, all these lings come, come flying in. He needs to recall home. And he's gonna do exactly that. Beautiful timing on that recall. Saves pretty much all of those stalkers. And now all he needs to do is sit back and wait for the inevitable uh, counterattack. I'd put up some cannons here just for the lings. Zerg is still now on one base. There is really not a whole lot he can do. He is sitting on a thousand minerals, but it's really not all that much compared to Chris's 4,400 minerals chilling in the bank right now. This guy has got investments. He's in the stock market. He's got GICs. His money's making money right now. This guy is a smart investor. He's going to be retiring at the age of 35. Meanwhile, Zeppi's going to try and do one last push, but I don't think the Mutus is going to be enough. The Mothership Core now coming over, going to get that Photon Overcharge off, and this will be all she wrote. He is going to pretty much lose all of the... Well, he should have lost all the Stalkers, but now the Lings are focusing on that uh, Planetary Nexus. The thing is, is that Nexus is a big retard magnet, as those Lings will attack it if you're not careful with what you're choosing them to attack with. And that is all she wrote. This is going to be GG. For Zep, he's gonna have to GG out of here. Photon overcharge, putting a beating on these Mutas. Mutas just uh, not dealing enough DPS. And we are probably gonna see him rage quit. I'm gonna speed this up to two times faster because I feel as though nothing exciting can possibly happen at the, for the rest of this game. Should be one last counterattack to end this. Surprise Zeppi actually just didn't GG straight up. He's gonna put down a bunch of spine crawlers in, in just pure desperation. He's sitting on 800 minerals. For some reason, Chris will not get a third. He's been sitting on so much cash right now. I mean, it's to the point like we're all we're all for investments, all right? We want our money to make money, but what happens if the stock market crash? happens and all of a sudden you find yourself in a sticky situation you can't pay your mortgage and you end up throwing a game I don't think that's what's gonna happen here but it is a risk that he really shouldn't be taking finally okay I, as I'm talking there is a third happening over here just a random third I actually don't know why Chris decided to wait so long he could have definitely just counterattacked and won the game but we're going to we're gonna keep this shit show running Meanwhile, Zerg is trying to make something happen here. 46 drones, or 46 probes, sorry, to 30 drones. This drone's actually going to go to grab another base. I feel like that's what he has to do. But I don't think Chris Chu is going to allow him to do that. And here we go. Final push. Got the charge lots in the front. So the storms were decent. The mutas are going down. Oh, the manor storms there. GG, you magnificent cunt. I had too many distractions. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our magnificent cunt takes it. <laughs> I just I just realized what I just said there. <laughs> magnificent cunt takes it. <laughs> oh, tits. Why are these guys still talking? Why are these guys still talking? There it is. Well, there is finally the GG. Chris Chu takes it down on the uh, first solo cast of the week. There's probably only going to be three or four of these, so don't think you're going to get a whole week of this. Adam will be back, and we will be uh, doing up here early next week for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm Maximus Black. Hit that like button. Go check out my motherfucking sponsors. Peace!